tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart. All right. I mean, it's 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 hard in, our, in a role playing game, right? It's also particularly hard in a game if there isn't a lot of replayability, like not a lot of differences. Shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Done speaking. All right. <laughs> I have no doubt. Kind of related, I wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. Forgotten about I this think character. you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. So I run into this weird thing on my channel chat where a couple things have happened. First of all, we've lost more viewers going through the tutorial now, this portion of reading, than we did during four hours of character creation, which I understand, by the way. It makes total sense to me. But what is the happy dynamic here? We're testing gameplay to see if I can actually stomach this game, if the game's going to be fun or not. Storyline is somewhat important to that, but do we listen to that on the main playthrough? Do we skip through that now? Do we listen to it now with the idea that we'll never listen to it again? Where's our where's our happy option here? I know I don't really care that much about story either, but I it, it is an RPG. Generally, story is somewhat important. And what are you a mercenary for? Is it only riches, or maybe you want glory? To you know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is. They're always written years later, based on the tales of best. And then I thought, I could be that deal. All right. I'm All right, we agreed that she'll write stuff down. What a great agreement. Okay. The first step on the road to glory. Leave the hall. Okay. Do I have a team to select? No. Uh, is there character rotate? I, or camera rotate? Or is it... I assumed Q and E would. Okay, I guess I gotta open up controls. Let's take a quick look. Uh, no camera controls without a mod. Okay, is there essential mods for this game, chat? Am I gonna regret this? Going in unmodded. Wait, did it just move when I was reading something? Wait, is this updating in a way that's moving as I scroll? Don't fucking do that to me, game. Go to quick save. Move camera down. WASD. All the camera. F. Her base mode is T. Fine, unmodded. I don't know what changes we just did. So, why is. Okay, can I get camera scroll speed at about 12 times that? We'll click delay. Green edge scrolling speed, keyboard scrolling speed. Important. Try that. A bit slow. Like, why is this moving? Don't move. Alright, so how do we leave? There. Can we run? Fucking sprint, bastard. You're a monk. Endurance training, let's go. this icon to exit the area here hey which icon door game have memory leaks so i need to restart this it feels a little i'm getting a little bit of like delay in between like response uh -oh. first love interest okay the mansion's under attack we need to help Yeah, it's on a solid state. Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry. Okay. Can't move right now. I have no character control. Uh-oh. 
combat. General, uh, combat happens in real time, but you can pause the game anytime to assess the situation, give orders, dice rolls, initiative. Eh. Wait, what's this? Combat's divided into two rounds each lot. Okay, not two rounds, into rounds. Six second rounds, back roll, damage, armor class. Okay, D&D &D stuff. Yeah! Sure. Turn-based mode. Turn-based combat character act to turn. The order of turns turn by initiative. A character... Initiative cue. The order of turns based on initiative cue. Yep, that's what I want. Turns in turn-based mode. Single standard action, a single move action, a single swift action, an unlimited number of free actions. Move action is used for movement or drinking a potion. That seems standard. I could see how you'd imagine drinking was considered part of moving. Standard action for attacks. Casting or additional movement and a swift action for activated special class abilities. Okay. You initiate a combat with an opponent who is unaware. Your party gets a surprise round. Seems really strong. Surprise rounds seem very good. Maybe we should do a stealth party. Move action as a move. The character, the voice acting has been fine so far, in my opinion. Like not not exaggerating. I think it's been fine. Um, action, full action, sure. This is a long action, which consumes both the standard and a move action of the character in this round. Okay. Move five foot without opportunity. Hold left shift to see a five foot step. More enemies on object. Okay. All right, so how do I get into turn-based mode? T? Why did it pause? I thought T was supposed to be turn-based. Might be turn-based here. Let's see. I was turning it off. Okay. So there aren't tiles, and it's actual direct movement, I see. This is an assassin. What is this? Are we going to hop on him? Where are my abilities? I've got charge. Plus two bonus on the attack roll, but minus two AC for the rest of the round. What's oh, a free action? Oh, I see, but I have to do it on my attack. I could spend an entire turn where some of the time I take away his turn, but by doing this, I'm already essentially done myself. I'm so bad, man. Okay. By attack, I lose my invisibility. How do I tell what type of action this is, Jet? What oh, lights up free when I hover it? Stunning Fist is good, are you sure? Because look at this chat, look at this, okay? I can take my entire attack, disable my opponent for one round. Imagine if I hadn't used this ability, what would the equivalent be? So if I use this ability, I dice roll, he doesn't attack me. Remember right now, just the scenario is one of us, right? Then it's my turn again. It's exactly like I didn't fucking do it. It's not my free action. It's a free action, you must use this feat before you make your attack. So presumably it's replacing the attack. Unless I'm just not reading it correctly. Oh, I'm still attacking? Okay, so I do damage as well. It's just a rider. Okay. Makes more sense that way. Minus four penalty on attack rolls and combat moves. Plus two dodge. Ouch. I have three or more ranks in mobility. You gain plus three dodge. How do I tell how many... I guess this is a character sheet. Is there like a... Does this mean we have 10 in mobility? Is that what that means? I have one rank. How do I tell it's one rank 10 modifier then? If I'm supposed to have X, 
Yeah, but how do I tell that? Will it have like a two next to it later? This ranks one on the tooltip. All right. All right, so I can go to minus two to hit him. We're currently dex based. This is this a toggle? This is a free action. I toggle it after I attack. Does it end my turn after I attack, chat? Can I toggle this on and off? Is there any reason why I wouldn't just toggle it off first, then attack, then toggle it back on? This is a freebie. Walk over here. Doesn't work. All right. So we would go here, walk into melee range. Then we would stunning fist because it's a freebie. And then we would also fighting defensively. Are they both active or no? How do I tell if I've targeted this or not? I have zero. Use his ability, stunning fist, attacks assassin with unarmed hits, deals three damage, fortitude saving throw failed, presumably he was stunned. Are there mods that make this interface a little prettier? Not inspected, defense, DC 15. What does this not inspected with the DC there mean? Where's my damage roll? Deals five. Six minus one. Right. And I can't remember what my monk restrictions are for weapons. Where is that? Where would I even find it? I see. Um, simple proficiency group. Yeah, I, I get it, but there's monk penalties, right? So somewhere there's something about monks with armors and the rest of it, right? I'm trying to figure out where that thing is that tells me it. Because I'm pretty sure, for example, monks can wear things that they don't really want to be wearing because it's actually going to make them less good at what they're doing. Right? Where does it tell me that monk penalty? Also like that it's not a hover. The armed even unarmed, make unarmed attacks that deal 1d3 bludgeoning. Unarmored and unencumbered. Offensive stuff. Arm strike. 1d6 at levels 1 through 3. Okay. So the question then is, although we're proficient with that, is it doing more damage? So our fists, so I could probably see that somewhere as well. The, there's our attack. So I do have plus five to hit, simply because of weapon finesse. And my damage range is one to five. If I change my equipment here, damage range is one to three, still a plus five to attack. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. 
Cool. All right. Why are you still here? I don't know. Where do we? Who's one attack round? Where or is that because I have two attacks here? Oh, I didn't understand that. So I have two attacks right now with two fists. Thanks. All right. Probably right in the way, huh? All right, looks a bit dated. Oh no, I don't. I don't show tutorial. That's fine. Yeah, fighting defensively is fine. I want to be fighting defensively. Hey! All right. We, I guess, failed the initiative roll. We rolled six. Get out of the way. No. What just happened here? I look away for one second. Assassin dies. Christ. All right, fine. So no reason to charge over there. I don't think I have two attacks. If I don't, the other guy's not in combat. So all right, we'll go there. Oh, what what is this full attack shit? You're just in time. Okay. A bit longer, and I'd have been. Whew, I don't even want to think of Lady Jamandi holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And of speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Okay. Oh, we have a shit ton of potion. Wait, we have potions of mage armor? Are we allowed to use these? How am I allowed to use a potion? Is a potion not like a scroll? Okay, it has group loot. That's nice. Uh, okay. Already done that. What did it want me to do? Over here. Alright, can I use a potion in combat chat? Probably can, right? Anyone can potion. Shared stash. Is this actually what it says it is? No. What it is. I see. This is my entire inventory. Alright, I did not read whatever it told me to do. So I have to find another way over there. Is that what it is? Okay. Where's my stealth option? One alt six. Story, character, journal, spellbook, map, camp, inspect, menu, select all characters, formations, hold, stop, turn based mode. Wait. I can't just have a line? I on the right side of the portraits is for stealth. What? I on the portraits. If I ever customizable. Kind gesture. You crusader bishop. Uh, what's this? The other right. Oh, you said right of the portraits. So I assume you meant each portrait. You mean right of the entire thing. That's fine. What is this?
Right, how do I attack from here? Did we fail our... We did. Assassin Bowman, perception check succeeded. Bots Lindsay. Keep trying to rotate the camera. So turn order is Lindsay. Flat-footed is an effect. What does flat-footed do, chat? Sure. Hover over. I can't hover over. It's in, it's in there. I can't get the thing to display. And right-click. Did right-click. It doesn't stick. That one did there, though. Let's not ever have that happen to us if we lose our dex bonus to AC, okay? They're all flat-footed. So what do we have here? We've got ear splitting scream, daze, light wounds, daze enchantment. I just shoot. Do I not have a regular shot? Don't I have a bow out? Third action. Right click is a shot. It's not on my bar of things to do, I see. Yep. Serves you right. Uh, right click does not shoot. You deserved it. Must be a left click. Any last wishes? <laughs> What was that 11 versus 11? They rolled 1d6, 6 damage. I don't know what the 11 was. Possibly a roll against their... So we don't know what their AC is. Left click that, not right click. Alright, is there cover? Like, do I if I block line of sight? Cover over the hit line in the log. That's what I was looking for, thank you. Back roll 15, 11 plus 4, targets armor class 15. Tells me their armor, okay, good to know. We're gonna go hide. Great, how do I end turn there? Space. Actions from close to an armor opponent can provoke an additional attack. Casting spells attempts to move away from the opponent, ending up from prone and shooting range weapons. Okay. Ten damage. Seemingly we have nearly infinite health. And like a great number of damages. Alright, so what do we have? We've got Ray of Frost as a cantrip. This could be also our equipped weapon, I'm not sure. Acid Splash, Magic Missile. What can he, what's the HP left on this guy? Can we see? We don't know. I don't know anything about their AC or their HP. We don't know shit. Okay. What do we hit them for? Six. They almost die, but not quite. Magic missiles are going to do six to one them one to four this game as well. I'm tempted to try to kill one of them right now. <laughs> yeah. That one in particular. Wait, was that just a singular magic missile? Really? One missile? I guess I should read the spell as opposed to assuming it did it like it was uh like it works. In 5e. Level one probably. Well, in D5e, level one magic missile is three missiles. So remember when I was doing that uh addition to see if I could do 10 damage? 
All right. Thank you, chat. Magic missile is not magic missiles. Thank you very much for your input. It's extremely helpful experience. All right. How do I use items? So I'm at three health right now. That does not seem like enough. All right. Casting time is my move. Use a potion. That's real. But does this count as casting a spell because I'm in uh, melee range with them? <laughs> Keep in mind there's differences. I comment on the difference. Point out to chat the reason why I assumed it would behave one way and it didn't is because I'm using a different rule set. And then chat responds with, remember there's differences. Thank you chat. Drinking in melee provokes attack of opportunity. You can take five steps away to be safe. How can I take five steps away to five foot stepped away to be safe? I thought I would attack an attack. I would provoke an attack of opportunity if I move further away from them. So aren't I inside of their reach if I do that? Like, all right, so this is a five foot step. Yes, Chad, I understand that a five that talking about a basic mechanic here, ready? The basic mechanic goes if you're in if you're in melee reach of an opponent, they can attack of opportunity to you on certain circumstances. Okay. So we have a potion that we want to take. I don't know if that triggers an attack of opportunity while you're in melee range. I assume it does. But if I step a distance of five meters away from him, which doesn't trigger his attack of opportunity because it hasn't left his reach then presumably I'm still in his fucking reach when I take the potion. Right? So what is the purpose of stepping away then? It won't be in his reach. So, the mechanic in Pathfinder is... I can get out of an opponent's reach by stepping five foot away and avoid his attack of opportunity, which would normally trigger when I step outside of his reach. And it would normally trigger, but I avoid it because I've stepped out of his reach. Is that what you just told me? And can I do that multiple times a turn? Can I just avoid attack of opportunity by moving in five foot increments past him? So let me get this straight then. I can take one five foot step this way, which will put me out of his melee range to drink a potion. But if I were to move suddenly from that position, I'm suddenly back into his melee range. Or is it all of my move is gonna be done with this five foot step? Oh, I see. So this is essentially a disengage. So I have a movement based disengage. And what it does is it takes all of my movement, but disengages, but only moves me five foot. So if I do that, I can't drink the potion anyways. The potion is a fucking movement effect, right? Is that correct as well? I can still drink as a separate form of movement. I can take two move actions. It's a free action. Is it, though? Because it says casting time move action. So where do I learn that I have two move actions? I'm pretty sure chat's suggestion of creeping out of range and then taking the potion doesn't work. Right? Like it just uses my move bar twice and I only get, I either get a disengage action or I get the potion action, but not both. Try it and find out. Take chat's suggestions at face value and just restart every time that fails. That doesn't seem wise. I think instead what we're going to do is we're going to take an attack here. I don't really understand how to make it attack. Click. The left click. 
What I'm going to try to do is kill him, then take my potion. Which should be fucking fine, right? Yeah, we double missed, and then it ended my turn without giving me a chance for the move action. Okay, that's not exactly what we wanted to do. Why do I lose my move action after attacking? That wasn't a standard action, that was a full round action. Attacking is a full round action? Flurry of... Where did I flurry of blows? I just wanted to fucking attack, but it's not on my bar. I attacked twice? With all your... Okay, but where is it? Like, these options... Attack isn't on this bar at all, right? S, A, and B above the hot bar to see more abilities. What did I do? One of these then? De Gras. What was B? B is like bonus action? I know this is not mine. I know the next character selected chat. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck just happened in that last one. Is belt. All right. So this is a standard action. What does S stand for then? Spellbook. And A stands for ability. I would be able to attack twice and move if I didn't have a setting enabled. Is that true? Can't change settings right now, so it's gonna have to wait, I guess. <sighs> Alright, so I'm trying to figure out what I can actually do. We have a scream, we have cure light wounds, which is a standard action. It requires I touch them. Or I could just shoot. And I don't know what any of my attack stats are. I guess I can open that up and find out. We have plus four to hit. We do one to six damage. Full attacks always end turn. So, okay, the being. How would I have split that up though if I wanted to attack once? The other one would have had ability. So I have an ability here then, presumably? That's just regular shot? Or is it um, a smart menu that only shows up when I actually can shoot? I don't see just basic attack here. I get penalties for shooting into melee as well. I mean, it makes sense, but I didn't know that. Not a thing I have to worry about in 5e normally. No need for basic attack because it just happens when you left click. Except it didn't just happen when I left clicked. I just left clicked on my monk and it did something that wasn't a basic attack but took the rest of my actions for the turn. There may be a slight need for it if that's, those are my options. Right? Alright, so this is going to be at a minus 5, apparently. Or a minus 4. And the only way I would know this is if uh, I look at the hit log after doing it. So we don't want to do that. So I want to go heal this guy. Okay. I'm going to walk over here. If I get him to actually move. Yeah, I have that selected move. Okay. And then we're going to cast... Courage, Daze, Pure Light Wounds. And then I want to use the rest of my move sequence. You know, okay, but apparently I can't. So I can't move after casting chat.
You can't move, then cast, then move. Which is it? Is it an interface thing right now that I have auto end turn on, or is it that I cannot do that sequence? You think this is I'm not this isn't a criticism of the system at all chat. This is just learning. This is how learning feels. Do it. It literally does one magic missile. It can't be split up. Do I need to make all of my movement effects before I do any of my attack effects then? Kind of painful. Kind of stunts melee a bit, doesn't it? Cuz if you kill something, you just can't move closer to something afterwards. Or am I able to do it if I just can't split it up? Can I kill something then move? Alright. Um, flash. Range touch attack. That's counterintuitive. And small range. So if I cast Ray of Frost into here. I A should be able to move afterwards, I haven't moved, and B I should be at a pretty big negative for rolling, Leave right? This one to me. Let me just see if that is the case. Range touch attack. Alright, attack roll, 7 minus 1. Roll to 7, modifiers minus 1. Attack bonus minus 1, minus 4 for shooting into combat, plus 2 for dex, plus 1 for size. I have positive three and minus one, and we get to minus. Modifier is a minus. One. That makes sense. Okay. But then we can move. We just moved him. So why is it now asking me for more things? cast right why doesn't not auto end turn here yeah but it's been auto ending everything else why is it now prompting me I, I took my attack first walked away because i haven't used all of my movement now i've used all my movement why is it not auto ended react okay. so good understanding understanding is relevant useful so they're just blindly shooting the guy who's closest to them? Do they do that for the rest of the game? Just blindly attack whoever's closest to them? Alright, so now let's try breaking this up. So what's happening? Where is this flurry shit? Flurry of blows. There's no flurry of blows on this chat. I am on the monk, right? Yes. And not turn off. This is abilities. I'm literally checking abilities. For the guy telling me to check abilities. I just finished mousing over every ability in here, none of which were flurry of blows. I want to know what this does. First of all, a monk can make a flurry of blows as a full attack. When making flurries of blows, the monk can make one additional attack as highest base attack bonus. Additional attack stacks with bonus attacks from haste and other special effects. When using this ability, a monk can make these attacks with any combination of unarmed strikes and the monk's special weapon quality. Takes no penalty for using multiple weapons, but does not gain additional attacks beyond what he's already granted by the flurry. Okay, it doesn't really tell me how to not do this. 
Definitely says it's a May. I don't understand why I can't not do that. Like if I want to attack with a single fist, it doesn't seem like I can. Toggle in my hot. Where? Where is this toggle in my hot bar chat? Hover over the end. Right click. Oh. And I make this determination once, right? I can't, uh, I can't show it up by doing it once and then making a decision, and then doing it again. Yeah, I understand, gigs. Okay. All right, it's probably enough learning for one turn. So I can five footer. And go like past him and then still attack him because I'm in melee range, right? I don't understand why five foot fucking just cheat, but all right, here I should be able to shoot, but don't want to. Is he still considered in melee range? We moved after attacking him. Is he still in melee? Is melee proximity? Or attack based is it attacking someone that puts them in melee range or being near them with a weapon drawn don't know proximity okay all right so we have spells again this is where i step in Why is my movement so shit right now? Can I have 15 feet of move? Is this considering me in melee range with this guy? Oh, it's enabled. Do I have to go over here? Um, it, it's not a thing I can select between though, chat. Right click to change. Right click doesn't change anything. If I right click on the ground, he's going to move there. Left shift. I think he's in melee. Oh, when I right click on the ground, it switched between them. But when I left click on the fucking bar to actually select them, it does not switch between them. How did I get it to switch a second ago? It just switched, but it won't switch back now. Oh no. <laughs> um. Five foot toggle works, but not the move on the move action. I click on the ground or left click on the five foot move thing. It's like a toggle. It's not. We can't left click on the five foot move thingy. It doesn't change anything. Click on the ground. Right click on the ground outside of five foot doesn't change anything. It won't let me go there. And right clicking presumably in here is going to change something. It's going to presume it's going to change what I do. No, it does nothing also. Left shift, also nothing. Okay, so I just left clicked there, used all of my actions for a five foot move because I couldn't get back to the fucking move action. Try beating it with a bat. Yeah, that's my next step for sure. Okay. And then it hasn't auto ended my turn for reasons unknown. Even though we took a five foot action that uses all of my movement because we still have a bonus. Okay. Hey, chat. 
All right, where do I see, next question. So we still have some work to do with that interface. Where do I see my um, spell, my spell resources on a character? Is that only in character sheet somewhere? Like this dude's a sorcerer. Where do I see my spell resources? Number top right at the spell icon. So I have four remaining magic missiles because I have level ones. These are both level one spells and presumably these are both cantrips. What's the fucking damage range in this? 1d4 plus 1? If we shoot him like 12 more rounds, we'll be okay? All right. No, don't walk over the- oh no. Maybe we did max roll. I guess we'll take it, but that was all of my movement. Unless I had sidestepped for 5 or something. I don't- maybe. Okay. One shot at each guy, not sure why that's the case. Sure, okay. Assassins are going to have multiple weapons. A lot of like a dagger if I go close. I think charge would be really bad here, considering charge is a full action to give myself minus two AC, and all I get is plus two on the attack roll. When I could just walk over there and punch him fucking twice, which is way better than a plus two on the attack roll. Gives me two sources of damage. Gives me my normal attack roll twice. And then gives me defenses. I think charge has got to be bad here. Can't move and punch twice. So it doesn't use up my removing movement. It requires a full movement as thing part of its cast time. Well, the guy hit us for 10. Our total HP right now is 9. My suspicion is I probably don't want to do more damage at the cost of being more vulnerable to dying. And honestly, all I was really wondering about was blocking bow. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to punch. I'm going to fucking not like it, okay? Easy 1 damage to Assassin Bowman. Now we're going to shoot the guy not in melee, because presumably this guy... I, I, it doesn't tell me anywhere that I'm getting a minus. I just need to know that's in range, I guess. Okay. Serves you right. Did a 10 for reasons, maybe. All right, so let's try this toggle again between different types of move. I don't even know why 5 foot would be selected here, considering I'm not in range with anybody else, and I can always move 5 foot if I want to normally. So I don't know why the fuck is doing it. But let's pretend I wanted to move more than that. Shift, left shift does nothing. Left alt does nothing. Right clicking outside of the thing stends it. Okay, good at least. The frost here. Just die already! Why can I not move now? Have a casting time standard. Ah, can't move. Killed my monk. And image there. All right, what have we learned from this? Flat-footed, crane-style, fighting defensively. Really mess with what it does. So tell me what the action did. Days as a spell. One enemy within close range. One round. Throw will. Oh, 
clouds the mind of a humanoid creature with four or fewer hit dice. So no action. Very powerful. Nines are five or more hit dice. Okay. Um, so what is this yellow then? This is a sprint action or something? And do I have bonus action stuff? B was something different. B was belt. All right, we'll go tank with her. I'm assuming she's very tanky. I don't know how many rounds we have before the monk dies. And I do know if the monk dies, we lose the game, right? We want to kill that. I have shit magic missile or I have burning hands. Is it burning hands time? I don't know if we can get in range there. If I go there. Move closer. Good. How do I tell if it highlights my character or not? The strong chance. Oh, the white flashing. Okay. okay. Right. Downed him. Uh, no, he didn't down. Damn it, it's fine. All right, we want to. Roll of Cure Light Wounds. This lighter on lighter wounds. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Uh, we have move left. So move, you said being in melee was proximity based. If I walk into melee with this girl, does it just give him minus four to all of his attacks? Give us an attack of opportunity when he shoots? So if they're in melee now, shooting should be at a lower hit roll here. If they aren't, Time to get my hat dirty again. all right, let's take a look. Uses Ray of Frost, Axe Assassin Roman Frost, deals one damage. All right, what's the attack roll? No penalty, so not in melee. Okay. Makes sense, he's not in melee. Uh, I just accidentally switched to this thing. I don't know how I did that. Never get out of it. <sighs> Move outside of that boundary. Okay. So one day we'll figure that interface out and it'll be glory. Thank. All right. So this is our monk. Just stand up. Where that action go? If I move, I stand up. Standing up takes. It looks like it, it acts like it's taking all of my fucking movement to stand up. How am I doing that? No. Takes all of my movement to stand up, not half. So we wish never to be prone again, ever, for any reason, since it's also a fucking stun the turn you come back. Oh, no, let, let me click. Dude, I wish I could uh, move the, rotate the camera. Okay, I want to go there. We get shot. I can now attack though. So it's full movement to stand up, but it doesn't take my attack. All right, but we're not in melee because we're not in melee. Any touch attacks? Under action, target is day. One creature within close range. Oh, okay, but does it tell me if it's a melee attacker? Yeah, all right, we're screaming at him. Easy death by screaming. Okay. Try some negative HP.
All right, glorious first fight. Chat, I, I am, I'm unsure if I enjoyed that or not. A lot of learning. <sighs> learning hurts sometimes. Yeah. Party suffers from medium incoherence. Is it shared? So it's shared weight. That's the. I try real time with pause. No, not really. I, the stuff I actually am interested in is the turn based combat. I don't really like uh, real time combat in games. I've tried it in PoE. The problem is it's only as good as like the scripting you can make do with the system. And if the scripting's a pain in the ass to set up, the whole thing is just a fucking pain. I don't think so. Alright, do we want to quaff some healing potions? Probably. Need item. It's the end for you rats. All right, so yeah! the guy for eighteen. Holy fuck. All right. But who is this? This is our bow gnome. Why is this all of this yellow? Shouldn't it be green? Because I just want to move and not shoot? You deserved it. I don't understand why I can't move as well. Surprise round in my favor or in their favor? And why am I not, like, surprise round is clearly different in this game again. And I hate that when I go into a game with knowledge and now I'm spending all my time unlearning as opposed to fucking learning. Yeah. All right. I should be able to move. I'm gonna try days. Day seems to be a cantrip, if I understand correctly, since it doesn't take any spell slot. Hey, Zylo. Also have days. Burning hands again. Of my way. Really, that was that minus hit too. Where is it? Damn, leave somebody, for, leave some for somebody else. Holy crap! So greedy. Just hit points. Yeah. Found out max distance green indicators sometimes a lie yet? No. It will be, and I'm sure I'll be super annoyed by it. Any last wishes? That's a close one. Uh, okay. Oh, it's you. Stay up from under my feet, or I'll strike you down. Blood for Gorum! God, I enjoyed the character creation more than this combat Aliens. so far. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What? Stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria saved me from such heroes. I right, want to go sneaky sneak again. Their sight betrays them.
we're in stealth, I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, I didn't want to collect all. Fuck. Is there a scavenger guild in this? Can I just not worry about looting? We're gonna have to fight the frost giant. Oh no, okay. Just off, good. If any of this matters. What year was this game out, chat? I've forgotten. Failed our disarm or our open. Eighteen. All right, more assassins. Oh, I attacked the wrong one. They weren't both bowmen. Just that one was a bowman. I guess it allows me to shoot this guy, but it wasn't intended. Okay, so we can only move to there, apparently. Can we get there? Can we cast anything of use? Like, fuck. Flow is very slow in this game. 20 movement. Very, Leave very, very so I should be able to scoot over there without losing, leaving attack of opportunity, right? But if I do this, I won't be able to double punch. Is that correct? But I could five foot then double punch. Is that also correct? Or am I just wrong here, chat? Wait, why five foot here? I want a five foot, which is highlighted now. If I go over here, okay, so I can five foot to there. And then I can punch this guy. The full attack. Dude, he shot me in oh, shot in melee doesn't do an opportunity attack, it Hello, just gives filthy. reduced. Our digital baby it, right? will be three months old today. Filthy lover hypothetical union was made possible due to prime gaming. Amazing. Thank you, uh, Galibus, for the filthy year gasm. dubbing. It all began with the filthy gas. Right. Bowman? Monk is trash. I'm gonna say trash? I like my monk just. I just tried dazing this dude. Is my AC 15? That's a good question. My monk's AC 15. Can I select the monk? Monk's AC is 22 right now. And it breaks it down nicely for me. Thanks, B. All right, I guess we shoot this guy. I could magic missile maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna need these or not. I don't. Easy too. All right, bring the pain. It hits me every fucking round. Ain't great. We fail every one of our spell rolls so far. Try again. Nope. Do you have any other attacks that do something? One more magic missile and then we have acids. This guy's still up somehow, and we have. I can use a potion. Oh, I can't use a potion because I'm in uh, melee with them. So I could. 
five foot over there. Which would let me double attack outside of melee range of the assassin. But would leave me no... But I couldn't five foot take a pot and single attack, or could I? I don't really understand this five foot. Thing. Why sometimes I can five foot and sometimes it takes all my fucking action. So where are we? We're on this guy. So if I five foot here... I'm safe to drink and attack? I'm not. There's a guy standing in melee with me with a fucking weapon, right? So I can't safe and drink. Oh, we landed the days? I thought we failed the days. Oh, he's failed it. Okay. In that case, we should go... Didn't you? Alright, and we should have a single attack left, I believe, right? Since this is a move. Why can't I punch him now? I'll let chat catch up. We did punch him, right? We used our movement points to drink. And now we wish to use our attack to attack. Use my potion as a standard action. Drink potion as standard. How would I have done it any, any other way? It says casting time move action. Because if five foot step was selected, potion was used as a standard action. We'll manifest a light halo. Of opportunity was not asked if I wanted to do that. Does that mean my attack of opportunity auto triggers the first time it's offered in each round? Awkward. We got him. I guess our first hit with the monk. This playthrough, I believe. The monk has been hit an awful lot, too. Alright, so we're going to try this potion trick again. So chat tells me that, how do I tell if it's updated or not? So this is, okay, so it replaces my move action right now with Potion of Cure Wounds, which is what I want. But if I select this, this is it. Don't want this answer, chat. Clicked on the little arrow above the pot. What does that do? Can't even click that. All right, so we're gonna try this again then. I should be able to use this and then punch him. Killed our monk after healing. Has this guy missed us yet? He's missed us yet. Are we sure tanking works in this game, chat? Thus far, tanking has not actually done anything. But
All right, I'm pretty sure there's a slow effect built into that, although I'm not 100% doing anything. Did he daze? I didn't remember if we dazed him. I can't tell when these hit or not. Are you going to apply a status effect? Okay, he rolled a 2 versus a 13, so presumably he's dazed. Okay, where's the daze icon? There. What's happening with my monk over here? Are they rolling to get back up, or are they just dying? Or are they dead already? This is where I step in. Serves you right. You deserved it. Why are they just telling me these things? Just sh fucking shoot him, dude. Any last wishes? Oh, you already you already used it. Time to get my hat stirred. Okay. There's no death saving. Okay. Is there anything stopping him from killing this guy if he wants to? Like when he's not dazed, I mean. That. Past that save. Out of my way. Should be able to five foot away. Let me move past this. If I can five foot over that way, and then shoot him. This is where I step in. Nice shot. You can back the fuck up and shoot him. If we try for a stun. We probably should. Where's this days thing that you're telling me I can do to, under abilities? One to me. Our monk is. Our monk still in, in. Is it still impossible for like higher level monks to die of old age? Is there a chance that this guy dies of old age before this fight ends and he levels up? Yeah, I guess we're five footing again. Saved, unfortunately. Yes, winnowing him down. We got him for another one. What? He dodged. Our monk never dodged once. We want to sneak away. And then cantrip. I could resurrect the monk, but as far as I could tell, the monk doesn't actually do anything. So I'm not super keen on the idea of bringing them back to life. I'm going to lose all my damage if I do that. I did move over here with the thought that I might, but now I kind of don't want to. Time to get my hat dirty. Okay. Another one damage roll. We're getting plot armored over here. How come she's evaded twice? The, what's her fucking AC? Remember, our monk was AC 22. She's AC 16. Just free disengage away, no problem. The halfling? The relevance? Hover over the hit line. I'll try that in a minute. I'm not sure your meaning. But what do you mean? How do I hover over the hit line? By moving my mouse, I remove the hit line. Attack bonus plus seven. Armor class 16 plus one. Plus three plus two. 
No, those are her bonuses. The leather armor gives her two, dex gives her three, size gives her one, her base was 10 is 16. Uh, attack with the cross. I don't know how to attack with the crossbow. Because it's just left click. Remember chat? Chat was really big on this. How do I attack with the crossbow? Deselect the spell. Out of my way! We doubled our damage by doing that. Nice. Call that a win. Yeah, he knows who the damage dealer is. He knows. Easy days. Bitch. We should be able to back up. Chance is lower though. How much health do you think that is? Like 40? You think it's two? If it's two health, we don't want to use a crossbow. Or we want to use a crossbow. If it's one health, we don't. Okay, the monk is. Wait, he has to pass. No, he passed to save. All right, we have to. We now are in emergency desperation mode. Dude, I just five foot moved. Why would I default to five foot move there? Doesn't make any sense. Protect me. Please. Why? You're tanking much better than our tank. You're good, man. You are fucking good. Man, I, is this a boss chat? This unit here? Did it. Or it'll complete it, hopefully. There might be a corpse there, but I can't rotate the camera to find it, so it's as good as lost for me. Do we have to replace our belt slots or do they auto auto replace? Maybe. How long do these last for? Do we know? One hour per level. Does this give us additional AC? This just gives us four. Doesn't say like replace anything else. Just gives us fucking four AC. Okay. No, I have an order. I set it up in my fucking order. Why don't you actually follow my order? Ate all things holy. Where's a monk's best friend? That's so weird. So it's probably a barbarian's best friend as well then if you're going like unarmed barbarian wait wait why no press tab button i thought it was alt is what i keep holding down what does tab do what alt's supposed to do oh yeah uh, no. i don't know if these are upgrades and i can't be bothered to check all right i may have reached my limit of learning for one day today i may have what i may be learned here? out this chest is full of gold. What? No, we're... Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold. A lot. 
Take a look. Are you out of your minds? Oh. All right. There's probably some moral decision to be made there, but I mean, it's fucking gold. <laughs> it's not going to leave it there. It'll go bad. Kind of evil path. Waste want not want not here, Zylo. Can't just let it rot. All right, uh, where do we go from here? Key on table, thanks. Ab is for key. Uh, what table? The chest. I thought I already looted. Ah, didn't loot that one chest apparently. Great. Do we lose our monk abilities when we stop being lawful? That's a really good question. Can I just make the other guy loot it? Is it a party decision to be lawful? What if you have one not lawful guy and one lawful guy? Oh, familiar faces. I hope you And just how did they all end up dead? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like zombies or skeletons or...? As I said, further explanations will wait. Okay. Auto detected a trap. Disarm it. Can't pick locks, can't pick locks, can't pick locks, spots a trap. Anything else? Good work. Hitting alt again. Ab. I have to rebind that. Right? Arm. Good luck. Applause, Glorious success, nice. Applause, please. All right, sneak, sneak. They won't see a thing. And the assassins don't hear doors. There's a point again. I'm not going to worry about this looting right now. I just want to play through the tutorial and see what I so far. The combat's kind of dull now. I mean, we're level one in DD, &D, so it's not really very fair. Level one DD &D combat is always kind of dull. I want to see a level up. All right. So are we in combat or not right now? How will I know if I successfully engage a surprise round? Anything is possible. Serves you right. You cannot stand against me. All right, let's bring our tank out. Mage armor active. Tank is now at 20. Wait, aren't we at 22 prior to this? How can we add one to 22 and get 23, wife? Or rather add four to 22 and get 23. <laughs> no, good. I had three from fighting defensively. Okay. Go fight defensively. So I, I won't have it. If I run over there and try to attack, I don't have it. So why would I want to move there? Like, want to move here instead? Uh, easy light halo. Bam! I 
can't do anything though with the rest of my stuff. Like I can't use an action to like turn off fighting defensively. I don't want to turn it off. And charge him for a surprise round. Are we in surprise round? They're flat footed. I don't know if they're surprised. What's the second? What's the cross on it? The kind of uh, maybe it means surprise. My surprise action already. It's just an action in this gun. It's not a round. You do. Find favor, inflict light wounds. An inquisitor. Justice plus one sacred bonus to all attack rolls. Wait, is this an active or a passive? Granted by protective aura, granted plus one sacred bonus to armor class. These stances? Wait. There's no status effect here. How do I know that's fucking active? Um, that's the weakest point of this game? That's an awkward thing to say. Isn't this game based on com- uh, Isn't this just a combat fucking simulator? How come they're like 10 times faster than we are? I haven't done my surprise round, so... I think I just got cheated. Yeah, right? Rikon? Like, I'm with you on that sentiment, exactly. Uh, nine more hits to go. Find favor, standard action. Upon your strength and wisdom of deity, you gain plus one luck on attack and weapon damage rolls for every three caster levels you have. Nope. Unworthy. Oh. You should just one shot him. Yeah, why is it a five foot action now? Because that was some sort of like special attack or something? That's like a full action attack? I'm as good he's drunk. Okay. He's drunk on. Get some of that. Alright. So I wanna go. I wanna go to there. Give him the old Hunjaru. Got him for one. Just die already! Build our monk again. High difficulties. Okay, we're gonna talk about this in a second, chat, because I wonder what the fuck you're on about. Wretched things. Okay. Uh, I feel like I played through this tutorial a lot faster last time. Everything not nailed down, and RPG behavior. Get these swordsmen in case they want to fight us. How are you, swordsmen? But yourself. The tab. The 
puzzle. Is it? And they only have two arms available? Dude, there's puzzles as well. I fucking hate them. Alright, so let's see. So we have down and up. Up and down. And those are the only two options. Are we sure it's a puzzle? Sure. But all I did was move it to the ones that they weren't there when I came in as. Now I don't know if I moved it back or not. Another room, lucky me. Okay. Great. Move on. Anything that's guarded by a puzzle can't actually be worth looting. Just who would use puzzles to protect something? This isn't worth it, is it? Alright chat, any hints as to what I'm supposed to be doing with this puzzle? Does it open something? Does any of this matter? All swords up. All these four or all six? Can I move units independently? Stop sneaking. Alright, but what changes when I click them? So it also moves that guy over there. I see. I deserve better. Okay, we're all but one down right now. At least undo what it just did, yes. What are we learning? Learning a lot right now. I just punching shit. There could be a sequence. Do you think they're sequential? I don't tolerate fools. It doesn't look like they're sequential. It looks like no matter which way I do this. I, I honestly, I hate puzzles chat and I really do not fucking care at all. Um, you guys can tell me the solution if you want or alternatively you can move on and I'm fine with either. But I don't give a shit. If I don't need to pr progress past that, let's just move on. Their sight betrays them. Bonus loot? Yeah, we'd love bonus, lo bonus loot, but it's not worth it if it's hidden behind a puzzle. Shadow like, who cares? Single. More assassins? Hey! Oh, wait. What happened here? They passed their check. If I had just attacked, would I have gotten a surprise round? So I just need to attack them before engaging in combat. It's kind of annoying. Have a defensive range, gotcha. Oh, it's a melee spell. Dude, how come versus 19? No, no, what is this? 8 to versus 20, something versus 19. Why? What is this 20? We took an attack in defensive stance, and we have fucking mage armor up. How is this anywhere near 20? It's a roll hover. Okay, as long as it's 26 there. Cast a melee skill when you're okay. Didn't know. Sure. Alright, let's start shooting the guy who's not in melee. We can daze, I guess, too. Time to get my hands dirty again! 
Did I just run up from nowhere when I did that? <laughs> One gets hit again. Seven damage on a hit. Attack result, natural 20. But well, we're gonna have a conversation in a minute. I keep hoping to end the tutorial so we can have a conversation. Okay, so I will get an opportunity attacked if I take drinks here, right? If I drink my potion, I get attacked. So what prevents me from taking a single attack, which I don't remember how to fucking do now. Bolt. I don't want a full attack. I just want to punch regularly. All right, we figured that out, but I do not remember how we figured it out. Is a right click? What, on myself? Yeah, right click on the enemy. We should be able to attack once with left click. Get him good. Then we sneak off some sneaky distance. And then we quaff a potion. And you, that guy, I don't know, are you going to be all right? What's your fucking AC? AC 18? That's not going to work. But I use luck, by the way. What did my buff do for me? There. Find favor. Nine rounds. Okay. See the being. All right, I kind of want to run past these guys without getting opportunity attacks. Is this a sprint? Yes. Can I path a move? So like, I'd like to go like just around his attack of opportunity and not get caught. Is there pathing chat or no? Is no Does that help? If I'm getting hit on 26, normal isn't good enough. Move multiple times, that's right. I didn't have to do that. Okay. Yeah, that would have been cool. Easy hit. Alright. Out of my way. Passed it, right? All right? Three health again. Maybe we could do the same thing if we wanted. What did we do last time, though? All right, we go right click, get an attack off. Attack. The left click. Hit him for one solid point of damage. We haven't been using this thing. Oh, we already did use it, though. We only have, we only have one per time period. And we baby move backwards. And take our potion. Let's hope facing doesn't matter. All right. We snuck our melee into the back line on this archer. Despicable. Yeah. Tax and ma where's our attack of opportunity? Makes it. Oh, it did. But missed. Okay, well, we're getting it. I don't give a shit. I want to make sure we're getting it. Alright, this guy needs a... Cross Blast. Hit. Alright, why is the movement now only this 5 foot bullshit? If I right click, change it? No. Right click outside to change it? Apparently. Weird that it's right click. Okay, sure. I can work with it once I understand it. Or once it does the same thing in a repeatable manner. All right, we wish to daze the big hitter. Back up. Yeah. Oh, 
misses. The monk paying off. All right, what do we have here? We have invisibility. Enemies have disadvantage when attacking us when we're invisible. Or some variation of that. Probably. All right, which one's the two-hander? Wait, wasn't there a two-hander a minute ago? Now I just see a guy with a club and a guy with a dagger. Got him for one. Advance. <clears throat> Oh, hits us again. It hit me an awful lot at 26 AC. I guess 26 AC probably isn't very much then. Leave this one to me. I just skip my monk. Um I just accidentally skip my monk. Yeah, because that caster moved forward to cast. No, maybe not. It didn't. Okay. Hmm. Are getting flanked is an ideal. Unworthy. She doesn't hit anything since she's been over here. Easy dodge. Nice firebolt. This can't be over. Oh, just one shot at her. Where was the? So she missed the attack. So she's had four attacks of opportunity and missed all of them. Three. All right. Well, we got to do damage here. Just die already. Miss. All in. Okay. Mm you deserved it. Miss. Does she have combat expertise? Bowman's got a bow out again. They killed that guy. That's good at least. Time to get my hands dirty again. Hit him for six. It's like twenty rounds of damage for our team. Impressive. Any last wishes? Another six. Amazing. Yeah. All right. So we are punching him. Double misses. I think maybe the the game is applying these backwards. The yeah. problem is that every time our monk gets attacked, he gets hit, and every time he attacks, he misses. Isn't it supposed to be the other way around? Isn't it supposed to be when they attack us, they miss? And when we attack them, we hit? It feels like it's going backwards. I think it might be a bug. Out of my way! Here we go, baby move. Lower the difficulty? Why? Do you think these characters are so ineptly built that they're not capable of handling the difficulty? We'll punch him in the back. I'm not attacking with strength. We took the feet. We attack with dex. Right, I want to crossbow him. How do we decide to crossbow things? Leave this that, I think. Two more misses. Ugh. I mean, look, the assassins miss everyone who isn't the monk, but they always hit the monk. I swear there's something wrong.
Just die already. Greed, just fucking die already. Did it. We did it. Everything is so much fun with a little fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good you're here. A bit boring, chasing fool assassins without anyone watching. It's not fun at all. Many people have died for nothing. <sighs> of course. I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can wait until the fighting's finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation... Did he show up, chat, word, whether or not I can I like make them? Does it say, fun. like, knowledge world check failed? You sound like you know, I lose the option, or how does that work? I am Kayesi, one of the many here who seek a better fate. Answering the call of Lady Jamandi. I don't know where you're heading. Help the wounded dwarf. I want to help you. Okay. So, um, mage armor seems to do nothing. They still attacked every hit on the monk and missed the, uh, the 16 AC rogue every single time or whatever the fuck she is. All right. Um, <sighs> this is all tutorials though, right? How close am I to finishing the tutorial chat? I'm kind of bored. I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet our rude speaking to a dying man. One more fight? Okay. It, uh, it seems. Doc, all right, let's um, use some potions. Let's hope potions are readily available throughout the entire campaign because so far that has been our way through all of these fights. What does this do? Great. Oh, she can't take healing potions. Fucking evil dead or something crazy. Like, point to herself. This body holds no more. Fine, you're good. Poisons are for your own benefit. Final Fantasy. I haven't played Final. Yeah. I like the default. What does this dwarf do? Not gonna be reading abilities for again. All right. Guards, help us! You run and get it. Aha! Some of our guests survived. I'll go immediately. May Abadar keep. Immediately is a code word for not reading any more dialogue, so it's one of my favorite uh, words that pop up. Get through the fire, okay? Can we already go through the fire? Um, do we have like water or something? Seems like it could be bad for us. Um. Covered our noses before we went in. Rushed to save the guards from the fire. Gained 108 experience. Awesome. We're kind of, what's, what's, there's another game. I think that's a PoE 2. We, we saw that system in PoE 2, right? The kind of, um, some of the events that are skill check events happen in that kind of order. A little mini story. We added somebody else to our... Ooh, that looks like a shield girl. She's got a giant power shield. It means she will be the low. I mean, we should put her in. Judging on how it's worked up till now, 
Let's take a look at her AC, see if she needs to be in the front of the back. Do a quick AC check. 22, 17, 18, 13, 16, 23. Looks like we should probably keep her in the back to keep her safe, knowing how the AC rolls work. So, back here. All right. Trophies left. I'll take those. Those, those, those. I don't care about the rest of this shit. I don't know what that is. Banded mail. Is there any way that I can inflict the tutorial on Twitch chat and then play on my own after? AC is the most defense. <laughs> oh, newbies. Um, help her fight the assassins. Oh, we don't have that option anymore. Who will prevail? Does it matter? He hits like a fucking truck. Easy water blast. I want that spell. It kills things. I'm like every ability I have. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no, we're good. She's low. I forgot she's low AC. She's fine. That's pay to win DLC class. Makes sense. Alright, we have... Cantrip Stun. It seems totally fine. It's quite a good cantrip, in fact. We're in a cantrip stun. I don't I don't yet understand these numbers. Eleven versus thirteen. But he passed. But what? I rolled an eleven? It's is it versus his DC? Isn't he rolling a save? So it shouldn't it be his roll versus our DC? So shouldn't that be a thirteen versus eleven? The first is what you rolled, second is what you needed. So it's nothing to do with his stuff. But what am I rolling against? Isn't that not how those attack spells work? Isn't it an attack with a save? So how am I rolling anything? Isn't he rolling? He is rolling. So, again, on that roll, I have to see it again. I'm pretty sure he rolled an 11. Okay, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll explain it to you in a minute, chat. Let's get our low AC guy in here, or high AC guy in here, like kind of in the back where he's still a little safe. Bearish, I guess. Let us strike as one. Big ass sword. This can't be over. What's her face is on the ground again? Uh, Assassin Bowman deals 18 damage to Test Monk. Test Monk is down. Well, I mean, sure. Uh, let's go ahead and wish upon us. Okay. Go there. Eat a potion into Yeah, I wanna do that target. Yep, okay, do it. Do it. Do it. Alright, third do it. Maybe did it? Did I miss? Oh. They were more than minus they were minus eight. So healing for seven doesn't heal enough to bring him out of being unconscious. 
But they get up normally? All right, what does this cleric -y thing do? Destructive smite, touch of chaos, heal living. To heal enemies as well? No, it doesn't say it hurts undead, but it heals living. our monk gets off. We didn't do damage to her, so maybe we just outranged it. These bowmen are kind of destroying us. Our highest AC character is yet again the first character to be downed. Kind of impressive. I just don't know how how do they do it so reliably? It's kinda of crazy. Six versus thirteen. So you're gonna, your numbers are wrong, chat. That's their role. That's what I'm telling you. I don't understand eleven versus thirteen, which is what happened. So this okay, we've done the same thing twice. Last time it was eleven versus thirteen, they saved successfully. This time it was six versus thirteen, they failed. That doesn't make sense. It's the same direction either way. Eleven plus three. It's showing me unmodified numbers on that tooltip. Why the fuck would I want to see unmodified numbers? Why wouldn't I just see the numbers that are important to me? What is the point of a pop-up that's ir that's irrelevant to the to what's happening? Why would an information display not give me information and in fact give me information that isn't useful? Okay, so the numbers don't mean anything then. So, because if he had a minus five to that or a plus seven to it or something, like all these numbers just move around. Why ask you guys? Because I assume I'm misunder- When something is so inconceivably stupid as to make me want to pound my head into the desk, I assume I must have it wrong first before assuming that's the default gameplay. So I ask you to confirm that I'm not insane. All right, how do I get to move here? It was quite well the probability of a successor failed. Does it? I, again, I, I probably don't. It's probably if it's actually giving me usable information, I probably still don't understand anything. So I don't understand what the fuck is trying to tell me there. All right, so what are my abilities here? I've got a charge. I've got a belt lantern. I've got a potion of shield of strength of faith. I just ignore these guys. 